Let's go ahead and solve this basic algebra equation. And I'm not even going to tell you what type of equation this is because I want to give you a complete full opportunity to show off your algebra knowledge and skills by solving this. So go ahead and put into the comment section if you know what type of equation this is. And better yet, go ahead and put the solutions to this equation. Of course, I'm going to tell you what type of equation this is and exactly how to solve it. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, well, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so what are we talking about here? Well, I'm saying uh, basic algebra. This is a typical type of problem that you could very well see like in a pre-algebra course, certainly like an algebra one course. And what we're de uh, dealing with here is absolute value. So these little bars right here are indicating this is an absolute value function. Okay, and what is absolute value? I want to explain all this in a second, but this happens to be an absolute value equation. All right, so here is our absolute value equation. Again, we have these little bars right here. That means absolute value. We're trying to solve for this variable V inside these absolute value bars, right? And of course, this is an equation. So before we get into this actual equation, let's just uh, uh, kind of have a simpler form of this equation, okay? What if I told you this, hey, uh, what number, I have, I have some number here, and when I take the absolute value of it, I get 5, right? Some sort of mystery number. I don't know what it is, but when I plug it into my absolute value function here, I get 5. So let me ask you, okay, if you had to answer that little uh, riddle or puzzle or that little question, could you do it? Okay, think of some number. When you take the absolute value of it, you get 5. Now, some of you might be saying to yourself, well, what about like negative 5? If I take the absolute value of negative 5, don't you get 5? Yes, that is true. How about the absolute value of 5? Do you also get 5? Yes, that is true as well. So hopefully you understand um, that when we take the absolute value of negative 5, you get 5, and absolute value of 5, you also get 5. So going back to my little uh, question here, the absolute value of what number is 5? Well, it looks like uh, when we take the absolute value negative 5 and 5, we get 5. So that would be what this number could be, 5 or negative 5. But let's actually um, kind of look at the, abs uh, the absolute value's definition. So what is the definition of absolute value? Well, the definition of absolute value is the distance a number is from zero on a number line, okay? So here's my little number line here. Here's zero, here's five, and here's negative five. So distance, think of it like getting your tape measure out. So here we have your little tape measure, your ruler, right? And we wanna measure the distance. So I'm gonna go from zero to five, and I'm saying, okay, hey, how far is five from zero? You would say five units away. So I say, okay, great, uh, measure from zero to negative five, and you would tell me five units. See, when you measure like a room or some sort of, uh, you know, like a window or, you know, a door or something like that, when you measure, okay, if you think about your little um, tape measure or your ruler or whatnot, you know, you're going to be measuring in positive units, okay? Distance is typically, uh, you know, or displacement in positive units. So five and negative five happen to be the same distance away from zero. They're just going in different directions, but in terms of their distance, they are the same. That's why when you um, think about absolute value, like here, you know, uh, the absolute value of negative five is five, and absolute value of five is five, you can almost think of this question as this, hey, how far is negative five from zero? How far is negative five from zero? Oh, it's five units away. How far is five from zero? It's also five units away. Okay, so it's really important that you understand the concepts involving absolute value uh, because, you know, I could just tell you how to solve absolute value equations, but if you're not understanding the underlying concepts, then you're going to get confused with other things. All right, so now let's go back to our equation here, and I'm saying absolute value of 2v over 9 is 5, okay? So if you think about it, you're like 2v over 9, what is this thing equal to? Well, I'm like, oh, I know, 2v over 9. I know you're just trying to disguise yourself because you must be a 5 
or a negative 5, okay? It's the same thing. This right here must represent a 5 or negative 5 because that's the only thing that we can plug in uh, into this absolute value function that will make this answer come out as 5, okay? So what we want to do here is set up, uh, let's just kind of go back here to, to this uh, equation. Uh, the absolute value, what number is equal to x? Well, you could write that as this equation, absolute value of x is equal to 5, okay? So x can either be equal to 5 or negative 5. Here's the main thing I want you to know. When you're dealing with absolute value equations, there's always going to be two solutions, okay? Always two solutions because you can measure out in both directions, okay? All right, so going back over here to this equation, okay, what you want to do is just kind of use your, you know, common sense and be like, okay, whatever's inside the absolute value equation must be equal to this number or the negative of it, okay? And that is the exact steps you need to take when you're solving an absolute value equation. So let's go ahead and take the next step, which of course is having you quickly subscribe to my YouTube channel before we finish up this lovely problem. Now, uh, you know, I am not af afraid to ask for help or assistance. <laughs> yeah, certainly, I'm stopping this video and saying, hey, I need your help, okay? And the best way you can help me is to subscribe. Now, you might be saying, hey, why should I help you? Well, my goal, okay, I'm going to tell you why you should help me. And hopefully, this is a compelling enough reason for you to hit that subscribe button. But uh, my whole channel, YouTube channel, is, you know, my whole mission is try to is try to make math clear and understandable. Math is just one of these notorious subjects that so many people just don't like or, you know, it really plays on a lot of people's self uh, image or self-confidence. And I know this because I've been doing this for many, 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 many years. A lot of people think that oh, I'm bad at math, uh, you know, and that can kind of translate into I'm not smart enough to learn this subject. And guess what? This is not true. This is not true. But a lot of people, because they struggle in mathematics, will start planting these ideas in their head. Like, hey, maybe there's something wrong with me. There's nothing wrong with you, okay? And if you think that, well, I'm just bad at math and maybe I should just stick to, you know, whatever this subject, you know, again, there's serious consequences to not uh, being reasonably successful in any subject, okay? But math just seems to be one of these, you know, subjects that people have a tough time with. So if you are struggling in math, please don't give up. You know, I'm just telling you right now, you can learn this stuff, but it does take a lot of hard work, okay? And you have to build your skill sets up one at a time. That is the truth. So if anyone is telling you um, anything different, like, hey, you could just learn, you know, uh, calculus in three days, well, they're just lying to you, all right? So be careful. And if you need help in mathematics, check out my full course instruction um, or my full courses, which I do my complete full instruction. That's what I meant to say. You can find links to all that in the description. So whether you're at pre-algebra, algebra one, pre-calculus, geometry, it doesn't make a difference. Now, if you are not a math student, check out my math skills rebuilder course. That is a great course for those of you that want to relearn uh, math uh, starting from the very, very basics. Okay, so thanks for giving me a little bit of time to uh, tell you what I'm all about. But now let's go to get back into this problem. All right, so you're, okay, this is absolute value. This is equation. You're like, oh, 2v over 9, you must be equal to 5 or negative 5. That's the only way we can get this as an answer. So uh, set up two equations. This is how you're going you're, you're to get your two solutions. 2v over 9 is equal to 5, okay, or 2v over 9 is equal to negative 5. And then you're going to solve those respective equations, right? Hopefully you have basic algebra skills here. So 2v over 9, uh, we can write... Uh, uh, that as being equal to 5 or 5 over 1, and just simply use um, the cross product um, to solve this. There's other ways you can approach this. Uh, hopefully you have those basic algebra skills down. We are talking about basic algebra. So we have 2v is equal to 45, v is equal to 45 over 2. Now, if this um, part of the problem is a little bit confusing to you, then you need some assistance. You need to kind of brush up on how to solve basic linear equations, okay? And I'm using the word basic because we're talking about pre-algebra level stuff. But listen, uh, I'm saying the word basic, but if you don't understand, you know, what's going on, well, it's not basic to you, right? You're like, well, it's basic to you because, you know, a lot of math It's not basic to me. Listen, I totally get that. Just trying to say that 
if you can't do this, this would be considered kind of like basic algebra skills. So linear equations, you got to brush up on this. And when we solve for V in this uh, equation, we're going to get V is equal to negative 45 over 2. All right, so some final thoughts here, okay? When you are solving an absolute value equation, whatever that expression is on the inside, okay, it's going to be equal to the positive and negative of this number. Okay, you need to know these steps. And you could have more involved, more interesting absolute value equations. Let me just show you here. So if I had 2 times x minus uh, the absolute value of x minus 7 plus 1 is equal to, um, let's say, 6. All right. Well, we can't set up the two equations until I kind of isolate this absolute value part. Okay, so this is a very basic um, absolute value equation. In this case, I'd have to subtract 1 from both sides of the equation, and then I'm going to end up with 2 uh, times absolute value of x minus 7 is equal to 5. Then I need to, need to um, divide both sides of the absolute value equation by 2. So I get x minus 7 uh, is equal to 5 halves. Now I need to set up, okay, to um, uh, have my two separate equations here, just as I did in this step. Because I have this ice, uh, this absolute value function isolated here, it's not isolated yet. So again, don't get overconfident if you're like, oh, I totally understand what's going on in this problem. Well, there's more interesting problems here, and there's a lot of other things you kind of need to know about absolute value. And when you figure out how to do absolute value equations, then you're going to get into absolute value inequalities, which are totally different than absolute value equations. And what can end up happening, and I've seen this uh, throughout my decades of teaching mathematics, is that students will start confusing how to do absolute value inequalities with absolute value equations, et cetera, et cetera. So that's why the only way to get good at this stuff is to practice, practice, practice. So a couple final thoughts here. If you need help with this level of math, I'm going to probably uh, direct you towards my pre-algebra course, if you happen to be pre-algebra, or my Algebra 1 course. Uh, that would really help you out. I also have additional videos on my YouTube channel uh, about absolute value as well. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.